while discussing about financial instruments like i told you a contract which gives rise to a financial asset to one enterprise financial liability or equity to another enterprise so that means it is giving rise to a financial asset to one enterprise but other enterprise it could be a financial liability or equity so let's look at them in combination what do you mean by a financial liability under indes 32 and what do you mean by an equity instrument what is a financial liability what is an equity to discuss under financial liability i'll have to take exact opposite of financial assets what is the first point under financial assets cash and cash equivalents there's no opposite of that so leave it aside equity instrument of another enterprise so for the other enterprise it is an equity share capital therefore i'll write it under equity share capital as it evidences residual interest in an enterprise what do you mean by residual interest residual interest means that is a pro rata share in the net assets pro rata share in net assets that is what it means so it evidences a residual interest that is also an equity instrument what is the third one under financial assets first one was cash and cash equivalents second one was equity instrument of another enterprise third one contractual right to receive cash or another financial asset same way financial liability should be a contractual obligation to deliver cash contractual obligation to deliver cash or another financial asset obligation to pay cash i have a creditor i have an obligation to pay cash for settlement i have a bills payable I have an obligation to deliver cash for settlement. I have a loan liability. I have an obligation to pay cash to settle the liability. So these are contractual obligation which are settled by delivery of cash. Contractual obligation by delivery of another financial asset. The same creditor can be exchanged by issuing or can be settled by issuing a bills payable which is also another financial asset. Clear? or I can deliver my bills receivable for against the creditor. So instead of paying cash, I endorse a bill as bill receivable in favor of the creditor. So a contractual obligation is deliver is settled by delivery of another financial asset of the enterprise. Number two, what was the fourth point under financial assets? Contracts for exchange of financial assets and liabilities under conditions which are potentially unfavorable to the enterprise. Guys, if you want to take examples out here, you can take the same examples, guys. I'm not writing the examples, guys. You can write down creditors, loans, bills payable, outstanding expenses. All these are classic examples of financial liabilities included under the first part, contractual obligations to deliver another financial asset. Second one. Contracts for exchange of financial assets and liabilities or exchange of 
financial assets and financial liabilities. under conditions potentially unfavorable potentially unfavorable to the enterprise guys this part already in the previous example i have already explained it Sometimes exchange of financial assets and liabilities might tend to be under conditions which are unfavorable to the enterprise. Go back to that example I told you. There is a forward contract to buy $1 at 75 on 25th of April. On 31st of March, if your dollar exchange rate is less than 75, then the conditions are unfavorable to the enterprise. In such case, it turns to be a financial liability. Number three. Contract settled. Contract settled by delivery of not by receiving, but here by delivery of entities own equity instruments. By delivery of entities own equity instruments similar thing is also given for equity instruments where he says contracts settled in entities own equity instruments contracts settled in entities own equity instruments this creates a conflict because you are writing the same point even under liabilities you are writing the same point even under equity instrument so my question is when there is a fight between these two when i have a contract which is settled in entities own equity instrument where should I classify such kind of liability or such kind of contract? Where should I classify them? This brings us to the second part under NAS 32 where we discuss about equity and financial liability. Here. So let's put down the heading. Equity and financial liability. Look at what we have written till now. I said a financial liability is a contractual obligation to deliver cash or another financial asset or contracts for exchange of financial assets and liabilities under conditions which are potentially unfavorable to the enterprise. Point number two. Number three, contracts which are settled by delivery. That means issue of own equity instruments. The same thing I can write it even under equity instrument. An equity instrument is one which evidences a residual interest in an enterprise or a contract which is settled by entity's own equity instrument. Since both the cases equity or entity's own equity instruments are involved, we have to resolve the conflict on when can a contract be classified as equity or when can a contract be classified as financial liability when they are settled by entity's own equity instruments. Clear? Contracts for contracts settled by delivery of entity own equity instruments by delivery of entities own equity instruments can be classified as 
as financial liability or equity as financial liability or equity instrument based on a test which is called as fixed for fixed test fixed for fixed test what is this fixed for fixed test how do i apply this test and based on this test how do i identify whether something is whether a contract is an equity instrument or a contract is financial liability when such contracts are settled by delivery of entities own equity instruments so let's look at this concept of what is this fixed for fixed test fixed for fixed test let me put up something like this write a case what is the consideration payable under the contract consideration payable under the contract number 3 number of equity shares issued for settlement to settle the contract how many number of equity shares am i issuing and finally what is its classification its classification can either be in the form of equity or can be a financial liability let's see let me write down the fix for fix test observe what i am writing down here first case 1 when the consideration payable under the contract is fixed one second is variable variable means i don't know how much i have to pay as consideration under the contract number of equity shares issued on settlement is also variable is to where the consideration payable under the contract is variable but the number of equity shares issued for settlement of the contract is fixed case 3 when the consideration payable under the contract is fixed but it is settled by variable number of equity shares number 4 where the consideration payable under the contract is fixed and also the number of equity shares which are issued for settlement of the contract is also fixed these are the four cases which will emerge let's try to explain each one let's say the contract is about settlement of a contract in dollars which is a sum of 1000 dollars and the contract went like this x limited has to deliver equity shares worth 1000 dollars based on the market price of equity share on the date of settlement now the contract is settled on a future date what is the consideration 1000 dollars but do you know what is the exchange rate no exchange rate is variable because it keeps fluctuating therefore the consideration of 1000 dollars is also considered to be a variable amount because it varies with the change in exchange rate of dollar if this contract is settled by issue of entity's own equity instruments 
and I said for settlement I will issue equity shares based on the market price on the date of settlement. What is the market price on date of settlement? Again a variable. Again variable. It is not a fixed amount because the market price also keeps fluctuating based on PE factors and EPS. So a variable consideration of $1000 settled by variable market price per share on the date of settlement will make the classification of such contracts as financial liabilities. It, such contracts are called as financial liabilities. Second one. The contract has a consideration of $1000 settled at a future date. But whatever might be the exchange rate I am least bothered, I will settle by payment of 1000 equity shares of the enterprise. In such case, the consideration is variable based on the exchange rate, but I know that I'm going to deliver 1000 equity shares. What is the issue price? I don't know. Why you don't know issue price? Because I don't know the consideration. Even in such case, it will be called as a financial liability. Such contracts are called as financial liability. Fixed consideration. I need to pay an amount of one, one lakh over. But such one lakh will be settled at a future date by issue of entity's own equity instrument based on the market price on the settlement date. So I need to give you one lakh. I will pay you one lakh on 15th of August based on the market price per share on 15th August. If the market price per share is 100, then 1 lakh divided by 100, I'll give you 1000 shares. If it is more than 100, let's say 120, then I'll settle 1 lakh divided by 120, then probably I might give you only 8000 shares. So therefore, the number of equity shares issued on settlement are variable based on the market price on the date of settlement. In such case, also I'll call it as financial liability. But if I have a contract which has a fixed consideration, let's say 1 lakh, it is settled by issue of 1000 equity shares of the enterprise on a future date. No fluctuation in the consideration, no change in the number of equity shares to be shown. In such case, I will call it as equity instrument. In such case, I will call it as equity instrument. So that is why this test is called as fixed for fixed test. So when your fixed for fixed test is satisfied, then the con then the contract will be classified as equity instrument. If your fixed for fixed test is not satisfied, then I will classify anything as a financial liability. Yeah. However, for classification as financial liability, there are certain restrictions which will apply. Let's look at further about classification into financial liabilities and equity instruments. But here I said the contracts for settlement settle, which are expected to be settled by delivery of entities equi own equity instrument can either be classified as a financial liability or can be classified as an equity instrument based on the fixed for fixed test. To identify whether the fixed for fixed test is satisfied, you need to look at two factors. What is the consideration payable under the contract? What are the number of equity shares which are issued upon settlement? If both are fixed, equity. If one of them is not fixed or one of them is variable, it is sufficient to be classified as financial liability. That will end our debate of classification of a contract which is settled by delivery of entity's own equity instrument in its classification as financial liability or equity instrument.